You could call it a case of milking authority way too far. Citizens in the Southern California town of Venice are outraged following a police raid on a raw food store all over a few bottles of milk. Could this be a sign that police are squeezing too tightly? Well, joining me now with more from our Los Angeles studio is George Heminger. He's the founder of Survive and Thrive TV. Uh, so, George, what the heck is going on over there? Do police have nothing better to do in L.A. than raid organic food stores? Well, the Los Angeles Times broke this story, and what's shocking about this story is that Police officers are going into this uh, grocery store. It's a co op organic raw food store, guns drawn. And uh, we put this up on Survive and Thrive TV, and it's basically uh, created a firestorm on the internet. People are really, really shocked that the police and the district attorney don't have anything better to do but to harass local cooperatives. Uh, you know, engaging in sharing food. Right, yeah. It's, we're, pretty, our, it's pretty shocking. Our viewers are getting a chance to kind of see that video right now, and it is pretty shocking stuff. I mean, you're seeing the police here with their guns raised, like they're about to, you know, raid some sort of drug house or something like that. You know, I've heard of fights uh, over a lot of things in the past year. You know, we talk about immigration, health care, the war in Afghanistan. But tell me about this battle over organic foods that's brewing. I mean, why are people getting so fired up about this? Well, what's happening in this country is big agricultural business, large corporations see these co-ops as a threat. Um, they control a majority of the food that's produced in America, and they've hijacked the FDA and government regulatory agencies. If you think about it, these private individuals that go out and, and own a piece of a farm or own a, own a cow and then share in that production of that is a threat to the market share of these corporations. They don't fit into the corporate model, therefore, they must be destroyed, apparently. And let's go back to that video that we were just talking about and we all got a chance to look at. Um, seems here that, you know, the police are using a little bit of excessive force, and that's a topic that we've covered pretty frequently here on RT. But tell me why it's necessary for the police to swarm in with guns for an assignment like this. And, you know, I also want to point out that this isn't the first time the LAPD have made headlines for doing something dramatic. I mean, why is that? Can you talk a little bit more about their reputation and why incidents like this seem to repeatedly happen? happen? Sure. I mean, uh, w what's involved here is, is more intimidation tactics by the police. That's what I believe. Um, it's, it wasn't necessary uh, to, to go in here, guns drawn. I mean, this is a regulatory uh, event. This isn't something where you need to be pointing guns at people. Um, I spoke with the owner of, of Rossum, and he was really shocked when he first saw this footage. In fact, a lot of people online are, are thinking this is a burglary or some other type of event. They don't even believe that it's, it's an actual, you know, a situa the situation that presented itself in the Los Angeles Times. And the owner of Rossum mentioned to me that in that store, they have thermal laser guns that they use to take temp temperature gauges of the food. What happened? happens if a, if a worker there came out with a, you know one of their laser temperature guns when that police officer had his gun drawn like that we're talking about a major incident right now the police department the district attorney is having a major blowback uh, just because of this video that's going viral on the internet. Right, I guess they're kind of lucky in a way that it didn't get to kind of a worse or more escalated situation there. Now, George, I got a chance to check out your website. It was pretty cool. Um, tell our viewers a little bit more about yourself. I know you kind of quote unquote opted out of the traditional American lifestyle back in 2008. Why did you do that? And you know, I've met a number of people like you who have done the same thing. Um, some call themselves preppers, other call, others call themselves survivalists. Uh, when you see incidents like this one that happened in L.A., does it reconfirm to you that you made the right choice to kind of abandon mainstream America? Um, well, mainstream America it won't be won't be able to continue to operate the way we're going. I mean, once again, the big corporations have control of the regulatory agencies, and they want people to fit in this corporate model where they can be regulated and controlled and taxed. And the biggest threat that the that the government and these big corporations have to them are people getting together locally to share food, share resources, and that's what 
I try to promote on Survive and Thrive uh, TV. That's what's so shocking about right. what the, the kind of the crackdown on this type of behavior is this type of behavior of, of sharing food and getting back to natural, unprocessed food right. needs to happen. Because, yep. you know, I mean, as we're saying, I, I think, oh, no, ahead, I think that. that what you're saying uh, makes a lot of sense, and unfortunately we're out of time right now, but it's very uh, great and, you know, that you were able to get your hands on that video and kind of share it with everyone. That's George Heminger, founder of Survive and Thrive TV.